there's way, way more variety of guns in this. I mean, it's not variety in, like, how they operate, but, like... But, yeah, that's what I mean, like... Well, I need handgun kills, so I better use that old OP handgun in the game. Hmm. Question. Does the judge You're gonna use the you're gonna use the Desert Eagle? Oof. No, 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 no. I know why you picked Alibi. So you could use the the, the judge, right? The yeah. bailiff. The bailiff? Does the bailiff count as a shotgun or a handgun? Uh, probably a handgun. <laughs> It doesn't count for anything. It, there's gonna be a challenge one week that's getting seven kills with the bailiff. So all of my friends that buy our gun people, we all want someone else to buy a judge because we want to be able to get like we want to get the opportunity to shoot a judge, but none of us want to be the owners of a judge. Is it just that bad? Um. Well, first of all, the company that makes it is kind of not exactly the most reliable. Um, Taurus is a pretty bad company. Uh, secondly, the... Um... They're just not really, um... Practical, if that makes sense. No. But when is not being practical ever stopped people from buying 50 cal? I mean, that's fair. That is fair, but it's just, it's a lot of money to sink into a gimmick, if you know what, if that makes sense. More sense. That's every gun. Every gun's not a gimmick. No, but every gun is sinking a lot of money. Yeah, but it's not sinking money into a gimmick. Which would be what buying a judge would be. None of us would buy a judge because we think that we, we think they're good guns. We buy a judge because it's like a judge. They might be coming in on the east side. Also, a fun thing about the uh, Kertos is I've shot one in real life. Someone saw my peak hole and was like, I'm a blind fire, and I went to the peak hole and I was like, I see them, I should stand there. It was a bad idea. A twitch is gonna be on the west, and they're also on the objective. They're behind the bar, behind the bar on the objective. Blow the wall, blow the wall, blow the wall, blow the wall, the wall's not blown. Woo! <laughs> I was gonna say you could have blown the wall, but that works too. Like, we didn't reinforce the whole thing. <laughs> That's a really Man, that gun, that might, that might be a little overpowered. <laughs> Did you see the recoil and damage on that thing? Jesus. <laughs> to be fair, I have shot this gun before, like, three days ago, and it is actually that controllable. It's a really good handgun. Feel like playing. so the spicy pick. What I'm I'm thinking is there any way to make a semi-automatic magazine-fed handgun any more like any more control? Uh, yes. Do you put uh, the mag on the top or something? Like, I no. Don't, so like, the gas chamber. Do you like adjust where the gas comes out? So there's a handgun company that's up and coming called Hudson. And their flagship product right now has a, um, it looks kind of weird because the, b below the, like the below the muzzle on the gun looks a little bit, it ha it, it clearly has something there more than re the, your regular handgun. And what it is is they've shifted some of the slide mechanisms w there to basically lower where the, 
So on a regular handgun, the slide is yeah. what is you what is all the kick you're feeling. Yeah. So they've done they've moved some of the slide components lower. So instead of being above your hand, it is in line with your hand. Okay. Uh, the Chris Vector so has a similar. So when you say like it's got stuff, when you say it's got weird stuff on the front of the gun, you mean like weird stuff like USP 45 weird? Not that, not quite that much. And the USP 45 doesn't actually look like that. I, I, I'm, I, well, I, I'm not saying it does, but I'm saying the, it, that's the only handgun I can think of that's got other weird stuff on the front. Well, of it. you, you're it's thinking of Modern Warfare One, right? Yeah. That does. It doesn't actually look like that. That's a flashlight. I, no, I, I get that. I, I'm saying I know it's not part of the gun proper, but it's sometimes it's like yes. on the gun and things that's displayed it. Yeah, I'll send you a picture. Paste. There you go. Like, it's only a little bit. But it's enough. And I've also shot that handgun. It's a very nice handgun. get a kill on Pulse with my handgun, but he just barely got behind cover, and then I died. To this fucking cap can that I put a lot of shots into, but, uh... Which is probably why he dropped so fast when I tapped him, like, once. I'm not the biggest fan of how much... I guess it's the optics on it, but, like, the, the Zofia Ella handgun. I really like I the know. optics on it. No, I'm saying I don't hate optics. I hate that. It feels like it doesn't like much punch. That's fair. Like so yeah, I sent you a link with the um, Hudson H9 yeah, we're on Skype. See how weird it is. It's not really weird. It's a, I think it's a really handsome handgun, actually. Handsome. Yeah. Um, the weirdest part about it I'm is gonna tell. I'm gonna tell the M1911 on you, Brody. Oof. You're gonna get out of the dog. I'm gonna put you in the doghouse. Oof. <laughs> It's a handsome handgun. Uh, the weird thing about it, it's got a weird trigger. Yeah, that trigger does look a little weird. And like... It's kind of At least from my very limited per uh, perspective. Yeah, so like, you know how most handguns are like... You pull straight back, but it's actually like, on a hinge? Yeah. This one is more designed so that it's actually just a straightforward back pull. That's pretty good. It's yeah. It's a really nice handgun, like, don't get me wrong. They're very expensive for, as a result, though. Yeah. But yeah, like, Seven Magnum. You haven't shot one of these in real life. The recoil is really weird because it doesn't really like knock up. It just kind of shakes in your hand <laughs> aggressively. <laughs> Have you taken a close look at what these prismas look like when they're expanded? Yeah. It's kind of neat. Yeah. 
It's not how holograms work, but it's pretty neat. Yeah. But I mean, I don't mind them taking... Like, people are like, oh, you're making Siege less realistic. I'm like, I'm not, I never played with Siege because it was realistic. I played Siege because the game plays fantastic. <laughs> and if they're willing to, like, do a little bit of sci-fi to make more, you know... Yeah. Maybe just Blue Hatch and Kitchen. Okay. Me and Rook are just chill me and Doc are just chilling here, waiting for the world to end. Kinda of bored really. Fuck. I've been drowned out. That I made the smart rotate. Oh, I thought that was you dying, and I was about to say, before you die! I know Capitan is close, but I don't know, like, where exactly he is. God, this handgun is so fucking good! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> You move faster with it out now, right? I know. Like a new meta. Uh, that being said, her SMG is probably better. Her SMG is really good. What are they outside? She's like, still outside. She is still outside. I don't want to come in. There's a scary lady with a handgun in there. Gonna have to come in eventually. What side of the ship? What side of the west ship? side. West side. North. West. Yeah. Oh man, my body's ready. <laughs> Holy shit, what is this clusterfuck I'm watching? Oh! Oh! <laughs> so I jumped out, and we're just like walking back and forth shooting at each other. Uh. <laughs> also, for the record, all five of the kills I got this game were handgun kills. <laughs> Ooh, I think that's it for me. I think that's my time. <laughs> okay. Oh man, I just barely clinched that on the boat. That was almost late. Oh, man. Good game today, well, though, man. A, that was a, oh, uh, yeah. They're on the whole, I think they were pretty good. That last one was that such was a, a clusterfuck. That one was a clown. Yeah. Oof. Man, I did not realize just how good the fucking Kertos is. Nah, it's a really good. But then you have to, like, alibi, and I'm not a super huge fan. I mean, you can always play um, Maestro and use it. Well, when you're playing Maestro, you're supposed to be at your camera all the time, not contributing to the team. Ah, <laughs> oh, my mistake. Man, I got all my yeah, weekly challenges camera. done today. Yeah, I would have. I got a lot of injures with Frost and a lot of injures with guns that did not receive a follow-up handgun kill. Boo. I know, right? Um... And, oh no, you didn't get all your weeklies done, Brody. There's another one. No, there's not. Yeah, there is. You can't dismiss this. <laughs> what? I don't know. I, they're all you done on my screen, Christian. They're all done? <laughs> they're all oh, done. Okay. There's none left. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'll talk to you later. I gotta go. All right, see ya.